Hey guys, what's up? All right, today we're gonna to be changing this uh, signal switch. Mine, as you can see, is really bad shape. It's broke. It been working when you cut your steering wheel. So I'm gonna show you how to do this today. It's pretty simple. Uh, I just pop my lever down, put my steel down. This has got two screws in it. This piece right here does. It's got one here and one over here. And it's just a Phillips head. You pop those out and you can push this down and this, this will pop right out. Might be a little tight, but you just take that piece out. So it's side. The reason I do that because I gotta pull this up. You don't have to do that. I've seen them do it without taking this piece out, but it's a little easier just to take that piece out. Uh, you're gonna need a seven millimeter socket for uh, the three bolts down here under the bottom. There's three, one, two, three of them. So. Go ahead and get that out. You're gonna need a flathead too for later on. You're gonna need a Phillips, a flathead, and a seven millimeter socket. That's got one of these cheap little kits for mine, so I'm trying to hold it on and do this too, so bear with me. I think it's just three down here, so not too much of a problem. It's two. And there's another one right here. Look at this see the camera where you can see it. It's up in this hole here. That's a little, that one's a little deep up in there, so bear with me, sis. So I'm trying to do this one handy. And there's the other one. So once you get those three out, this piece here you can just pull up. Yep, it's kind of pop. I set my phone down for just a second, guys. Got these little clips and they're a little tight, so they just hold on from right there and right back here. You just have to put a little pressure on it and they'll pop right out for you. And this piece here should just drop down. And you might have to fight with it right here over this area, but you can kind of pull on the side of it. See there? And pull it down. That's the tightest part of it. Same over here. Get one side out. There you go. Hang on just a sec. <coughs> it's a little tight, but it'll come out there. You don't have to take it all the way out, but I did mine. 
Now, let's take your fill up. There's one way. There's two little clips. There's one on the top right here. A little slot. And there's one on the bottom, which is right here. If you can see that. But you more or less just pop it. Let me get my phone. Right there. You push that down. It breaks that one loose. Same way with the bottom. You hear that click? Then you just pull it out. Let me just take these two right here loose. It's hard to do one. I'm gonna pop this one out and this one right here. So I'll do that and I'll be right back. Apologize for how to do it with one hand here. <laughs> you guys get the idea. Same way, it's got a little clip. You just got to pull that clip off. Pull this bit like mine. Mine's a little stubborn, so. Come off there, there we go. That one there is a little. Let me get it out here where you can see it. Mine's pretty bad shape. This one here is a little stubborn. You have to kind of hold it up. If you can see that, you have to kind of hold it up as you pull it out at the same time. So this one's bad, like really bad. That's pretty much it. I ordered this new one. On Amazon. It went like nine dollars, so a lot cheaper than buying it at a parts place. They're like fifty bucks if you buy them. I lost you guys. You want this piece right here to be on the inside, not on the outside. This rubber ring right here. That keeps it from coming out, so and need, make sure you put this on the inside, not on the outside. That makes sense. And I got the bottom piece back on. That's the hardest part. It's it's tight, but you just have to finagle with it a little bit. Make sure it's back in there good. It does give a little bit on the side. You see these flaps? They give quite a bit, see there? But I started, I got this side in first. It seemed a little easier. And then your, your top part just clips got back, clips back on. That's pretty simple. Let me clip it on and I'll give you a edge up on it. Probably hit clip there. That ain't no sure it's on there. Just run your screws back up in it. Pretty quick job. Not that bad. 10, 15 minutes maybe. Top, so be right back guys. Give me just a second.
just running my screws back up in there. So that won't bore you guys with all that. Got that piece back in. As you can see, it works. Flicks on and off. All that works. I done checked the headlights. Dimmer switch works. All righty, guys. There you go. Get her all put back in. On this piece right here, I recommend putting this side in first, and then this side goes in pretty quick, easy. But you make sure this lip is back behind here, and just pop your two screws back in there and you're done. Thank y'all.